26. I'm your host, Kyron Johnson, and today with me, in different rooms, is uh, <laughs> Keenan Johnson. That's me. Dean Kaminsky. Hey. And Daniel Redden. Oh, um, I'm here. Hello. Hello. Um, alright, so this episode's title was Surpass Even a God, Vegeta's Desperate Blow. Um, so, <laughs> starts off with scenes from the previous episode, you know, the whole, a hey, pause, key glass stuff. Yep. And Very Dragon Ball Z. And you go from there, and it did exactly what we all thought it would do, which is, fucking just, it just got evaporated by the Hakai no, it didn't get evaporated, didn't it? Fight against it for a sec. You're like, and then, like, the, the whole energy just went off screen. Like pushed off, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Crazy Hakai energy. So, yeah. Yeah. Take a right, shot so every time we say Hakai. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Squishy face boy. They they replayed the scene <laughs> where he went to throw him off, didn't they? Yeah. yeah they replayed that like the last two minutes. I think I think that was really handy because I didn't see the rock that seventeen threw. In yeah. the first watch, like watch through, yeah. and I was like, "What is he talking about, Rock? <laughs> was that off screen?" <laughs> yeah. And, um, no, uh, Goku versus uh, Goku and Vegeta first Jiren intro. It's um, it was just straight into the the topo mm. and seventeen. Yep, which was good. Um, yeah. So Topo's go to destruction form is apparently similar to uh, Goku's Ultra Instinct form. This is my theory. Uh, that's, like, it's that's, not actually this anything. This theory, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll explain it. Because, like, you know how Goku has Ultra Instinct, but he still has, like, energy around him? Yeah. Um, you know how Topo has got uh, energy around him, but he's got a destru destruction now? Mm -hmm. I think he's, like, their unmastered version. Like, if Topo were the proper god of destruction, he'd be like Beerus and just, like, not needing that excess energy. Yeah. And, like, the angels don't have that excess energy when they're in Ultra Instinct. So it's just, like, Goku's Ultra Instinct and Topo's God of Destruction, these are, like, their first phase before they uh, gotcha. control them. Because, you know, like, Super Saiyan fully mastered all the energies inside them. Right. Same sort of thing. Okay. That's a theory. Interesting. That is a really right. interesting theory. I, can I just noticed that. Um, doesn't mean anything. Do you have any other theories that you want to bring up, or should we just get into the episode? No, I don't. I'm oh. I'm really excited oh. to hear more about the episode. Yeah. I only just watched it, by the yeah. way. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Quality, quality content. <laughs> Alright, so, 17 and Topo, um, they do a beam struggle, you know, attack is useless. 17 and plus Topo, and that makes a bit of a uh, a bit of the stage crumble on top of him. Mm, with his and unlimited everyone, energy. Everyone was like, oh yeah, wow, look, he entrapped him in rocks. And, and then everyone's just, I, I, I was sitting there going like, the fuck, punches can't hurt him, but rocks are gonna hurt him. <laughs> and the fuck is this gonna work? It's the strongest rock in the yeah. multiverse. You gotta, you gotta keep that in mind. Yeah, that, <laughs> that Ripley Ant's fat ass breaks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, but like, and then after that, um, he just. The one word I got sick of the entire fucking show was the amount he said Hakai. Hakai! Like, like, you know, if he changed it to like, ha! Ah, because we get the energy beam, we get what that attack looks like, it's Hakai. <laughs> yeah, but Hakai means destroy, and he kept using that. That was his thing. So the difference between his normal key blast and his destruction energy, he had to say Hakai to use it. That was his that was his difference. Yeah. I, I guess Beerus does. Beerus, Beerus has only said it when he d d uh, killed Zamasu. Mm. He just went up to him and went, Hakai, That's true. and then just erased him. He didn't use it in, God, uh, in Battle of God. No, That's Battle of God, he's just like, whoop. Yeah, but he never used destruction energy. He did uh, it with the rock, he's like, ah. Uh, and I thought he just blew it up. Because <laughs> he, like, he chopped it off. Yeah, he blew it up. I, doesn't he use um, Hakai energy? Like, he throws it at Goku and Goku's in, like, Super Saiyan and then God absorbs it or something? No, that was just a regular beam. That was just a regular mm. point. No, that, that, cool? was just, yeah, that was just regular key. It wasn't okay. like purple 
Yeah. And the second time we saw him use it, (laughs) the second time we saw him use it was in the Arale episode where he destroyed that ghost. Yeah, that's true. He also said Hakai then. Yeah. I don't remember that, but I believe that's what happened. (laughs) Yeah. God, I do like that Arale episode. Yeah, it was fun. It's ridiculous. I liked Vegeta's suit. That was cool. Just the fact that he was wearing a suit. Yeah. It's like nice. Goku's hair was fucking weird. Yeah, a little bit. But anyway, we're not talking about that episode. So yeah, um, Topo beat 17 down with Key Blast and is about to launch a Kai Deadpool, but Frieza just pops it. Like, he literally just fires a, his you know, like, final form, which is kind of his base at this point, just puts the ass key attack and it explodes his giant fucking death ball. Which is weird, like, the same thing happened last week with the rock. <laughs> like, it's just like anything can disrupt yeah, Hakai energy. <laughs> I, think, I think the idea is that while it's charging, anything can disrupt it. Because they said something about that yeah. last week. Um, it's like, oh, it wasn't fully charged. But yeah. Possibly. Yeah. Which was... And then after he did that, they brought back something that I've been... You know, I had not thought of that Freezer can do for a fucking long time, which is paralysis. Yeah, and telekinesis. And, and, yeah, and his telekinesis. Um, you know, didn't work for shit because... <laughs> You know, um, more rocks. Who else tried to hit? He hit, kept yeah. Jiren trapped in time, and if being trapped in time, you can break out of when it was barely trying. I'm pretty sure Topo and his go to destruction form could break out of fucking like third, like saga, saga attacks, like paralysis and stuff like that. Hmm. I want to see Guldo versus Hit. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the worst. What was that? Guldo versus Hit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think that's gonna happen anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Gotta have to wait till Xenoverse <laughs> 3. <laughs> Xenoverse. I can do it on Xenoverse 2, right? Not in Gul- Guldo's not in it. I'll get it on PC and mod him in. <laughs> wait, what? Guldo? Yeah, he's, he's not in Xenoverse 3. Just Ginyu. Xenoverse 3? Xenoverse 2. Yeah, yeah he is. Guldo. Guldo. But yeah, you, you can't play him. Can you not? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure. sure. I'm pretty sure. Because I swear I've trapped Guldo. people in. Yeah, you can play as Guldo in Xenoverse too. For sure. Okay, then I'm wrong. Yeah. I can't even. Maybe you guys have got a pack I didn't or something. No, no. It's just like we just don't. Because you can him. also <laughs> you can't just be Ginyu because you can also be Berta. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you can be Berta. And, 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 and Jace and Raccoon. You can I be mean, the whole Ginyu force. I need yeah. Ginyu and Raccoon. I know Raccoon. Jace. Yeah, that'd be a bit fucked up if you could be Bird and Jace and Ginyu, but you couldn't be Guldo. Like, <laughs> yeah. Throw a dog treat at him. Like and shit like that, like yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> you, mean raspberry you know, they gave us Raspberry, but they didn't give us Chiaotzu. That's so. true. They gave us Cybermen, but they didn't give us Chiaotzu. They're basically the same, See, right? I, I think <laughs> the reason they gave us, like, the shitty fodder characters, like Raspberry and stuff, but not Chiaotzu, because I don't think they could, like, how fucked would it be to fight a character like the size of Chiaotzu when you're Broly? Like, Broly. <laughs> like, you can do bigger characters, but I don't think they can do smaller characters. Well, that they did it in Budokai Tenkaichi like, 3, like Great That Oaks was like first. that was like the last yeah, game that had Chiaotzu in it. Not, yeah. But that's not the pinnacle of fighting games. No, like it's that, yeah, it's not like an actual proper it's fighting more game. Character collection. Hey, wouldn't this be fun if they forward type shit more than a this is a sound thing that won't fuck up and be incredibly unfair depending on which character you use. That's every fighting game. <laughs> There's always a fucking, fucking button you can mash. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie Toe, is that his name? In Street Fighter? Guy yeah, that just kicks everything? Yeah, the one that just throws kicks at people all the time. Bastard. <laughs> Big old black man. <laughs> but yeah, um, so Freezer uses telekinesis, which, like, if he picked, um, Topo up and was smacking him around. I can understand him using that. But he just fucking threw rocks at him. Yeah, he should have, like, picked him up and just, like, yeeted him out of the arena. Basically. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He was like, he had him paralyzed. So he was like, before he breaks out of this, I should probably throw him out of the arena. But they were like, nah, I'm going to be in fifth grade and just throw a fuck ton of rocks at him. <laughs> well, fir- <laughs> first, first he threw rocks, and then he decided they weren't working, so he started using key blasts. Yeah. And then that didn't work. Because that always works. Well, and they use the bloody yeah. hyper sort of like fast key blast. Exactly. Silly. Like these aren't secrets. I don't understand why everyone kept trying to do that. Like everyone was trying to attack and it's all failed. They're like, maybe 
wondering if I use lots or work. Well, we'll get to that. Haven't we gotten to it? Uh, technically. Are talking about a different set of rocks? Um, no, not the rocks. I'm talking about the energy. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Because there's more to it. So then, um... Yeah, Chopper's given a speech. But the uh, impact from Goku and Vegeta's fight with Jiren disrupts him. He's like, oh, what the fuck was that? And he's like, uh, Jiren might need some help now. So they, they team up and they're, um... They're like, alright, you take Vegeta, I'll take Goku. And then somehow Jiren's blast knocks Freezer and Seventeen out. Yeah, well... It, it, it hits them, but it, like, hits in front of them and explodes them backwards, I think. Yeah. Well, apparently it was a direct hit, according to TN. Mm. Um, yeah, TN and Piccolo. Piccolo said they got caught in the blast, and then TN said they couldn't survive a head-on collision. Or head-on... Something like that, yeah. Something, yeah, it was direct contact. See, I think, I think uh, TN needs to get past the, oh yeah, they couldn't survive that. I think he needs to start thinking, I couldn't survive that, <laughs> they probably can. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think Tien needs to realize that he he technically shouldn't be keeping up with these fights. Yeah, like be able to see them. Or yeah, be as a third eye. Yeah, but like, <laughs> open still. your third eye, being stop being so. Tien has commented on the thing. It's done the complete opposite. Like he's like, oh, that was a direct hit. There's no way he can't survive that. Or he's definitely going to be damaged after that. And then just the opposite has happened. Should yeah, that's been like everyone throughout all of Dragon Ball. That's like the, the whole point of the audience, of the that audience is like... Basically. Yeah, yeah just like, yeah. oh, something happened. They're fucked, aren't they? And they're like, oh, I'm not fucked. Shazam. Like, that's <laughs> Shazam. That is the wrong franchise. Or if, okay. or if Frieza has anything to do with it, so... Oh! When he's so really we pissed. Into the, the main fight of the episode, which is Vegeta versus Toppo. And uh, that starts off with Toppo just fucking Vegeta up with a, a lot of key attacks. Um, Something that was pointed out to me is that he stopped saying Justice Flash and he's just doing it now. Mm. Like, because yeah. he no longer believes he in justice. Care about justice. He's just fucking dying. He's just like, flashy boys! Yeah. Shinny! <laughs> yeah, um... Yeah, and then Vegeta uses a final flash, which... It's really weird the amount of final flashes we're, we're seeing now. Yeah, like it's meant to be a final very, attack. They were very rare in the pre previous sagas, and even in Z. I think it was only once just, in Z. And now he's just pumping them out like... You know, like yeah, but he's fighting for survival now, and like with yeah. his with his current strength, um, we'll talk about it more later. But with his current strength, his his more advanced attacks are becoming more seamless. Like they're a lot easier for him to control. That's a good. So yeah, yeah, you know, it's probably easier for him to do that rather than a normal Taking Gallic gun. Remember when Master Roshi was like, ah, doing this simple Kamehameha really takes it out of me. Remember when me. Goku wanted to eat everything after a Kamehameha? Do you remember when it literally could kill you to do any attack ever in Dragon Ball for the first time? <laughs> yep. This attack could kill me! It doesn't kill them. Oh, now I can just do it whenever the fuck I want. <laughs> Did you mean Kaioken? <laughs> yeah, Kaioken. Can't be having I think the only one Not that was Yeah. Just name an attack. <laughs> oh, I punched him. <laughs> Special beam cannon. I have to kill Goku. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This doesn't kill me. It'll kill you. <laughs> attacks in Dragon Ball were like, hey, you want to fly, make sure your it doesn't rip your bottom half of your, like, body off. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stupid. Why didn't that happen to Videl, huh? Stupid. Palace uh, Caitlyn. <laughs> 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 she doesn't have a funny eye, and she's not a midget. Just, hey. <laughs> I forgot. I can tell you I'm a figure. Yeah, Let's that's funny. forget. Yeah. <laughs> um... So and yeah. forget about the unlimited energy. Uh, uh, <laughs> does a Hakai attack at Vegeta. Mm. And she like, um, powers up and gets rid of it. Like, she just disperses over the power up. I love so, that. Like, I'm really, like, I like it. It's a cool scene, but I'm really confused as to how Hakai and Vegeta uh, most You're breaking up, buddy. Oh. Technical difficulties. Da, 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 da. You back? Can we I'm hear back. you? 
Yep. And we're back. Sorry about that. Technical It's alright, I already did a jingle. It's fine. Yeah, it's all good. Do some talking. Okay. Getting back on track. Getting back on track. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm stopped. Human okay, difficulties. So again, the the, the Hakai balls. <laughs> they're, they're really weird with like how they can be dispersed and stuff. Like before, it was anything touches it, anything goes. It just fucking destroys. Mm, yeah. And now it's a rock can disperse it, key blast can disperse it, powering up can like hard enough can disperse it. Yeah, mm. it's not consistent, but it's, when has anything in Dragon Ball been yeah. consistent? I like it because yeah. Frieza was like, ah, I can't do this, and Vegeta's just like, I'm strong! <laughs> My so eyes that- are blue now, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I have pupils! <laughs> <laughs> I can see! <laughs> yeah, and then basically, Topo's just like, uh, I'm beating you because I threw everything aside. And basically. It goes on a rant about survival and justice for like the fifth time in this arc. And then Vegeta's like, I can't let him rant. Yeah, I can't let him take up all the ranting time this episode. Pride! <laughs> <Right! laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's like, how dare you have a self, like, self-serving like, speech. I'm the king of those. And, <laughs> and he's like, Bulma, Trunks, Bulla, F, like, just lists off everyone's name. Didn't even say like, Kakarot, oh, though. Kakarot. Because he's moved on. Kakarot's oh, just a dude now, not his oh. motivator. But they brought it back for, um... The flashback. The flashback. Ah, yeah. Said, yeah, that's what I mean. Yes. His last flashback. little speech. Oh, well. Yeah, because he starts to, um, use the... What, what is that move called? Does anyone remember? Final, Final explosion. explosion. yeah. Final explosion. He starts to use that. And, uh, it cuts back to Z again, which is... It's nice to see, but it's so I love weird it. to see in Japanese. I love it when they <laughs> do that, because it just makes me, like, feel like... It is still the same series because sometimes it's hard to remember. <laughs> yeah, that, that Z and Super same. were even the same thing. Because mm. <laughs> yeah, it different. seems like a spin-off yeah. more than anything. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. like it's there's no blood, there's no proper violence. Mm. They're just like ah, I hit you, ah, that hurts, but I'm strong. <laughs> I have I have these black scratches all over me. That shows that I am hurt, but that is it. I pant, I pant, but wait, no, transform. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but yes. And then, um, yes, Bellwood's just, uh, like, like, after Vegeta br- brings up his Saiyan pride and he's like, ah, I cast nothing aside, and he just kicks away a Hakai ball like it's nothing, and then proceeds to just beat on top of Bellwood's just like, ah, destroy everything so there's no arena for him to stand on, and then Topo's just like, eh, nah, <laughs> fight me. He's like, but what about... Justice! And then he's like, Justice. fuck and me, like, man. <laughs> Confliction. What about survival? Because that's what he's all about now. He doesn't yeah. care about injustice. Survival like Flash. Survival. <laughs> survival Flash. Final Flash. I'll show you what a Flash really looks like. That's why he doesn't have a shirt at the end of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Pants go next. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, um, Topo tries a full power of Kai Ball, and to counter it, uh, and, wait, what, what am I talking about here? I think it's completely Yes, the self-destruct attack, uh, the final explosion, and he, he starts charging up there, and then, um, Topo fires the Kai Ball to try and be like, ah, no, stop, get rid of that. Nah, but, none of that, uh, mate. He kind of just fuses around the the ball and then the final explosion just explodes through it, yeah. It, yeah. I'm really confused about that because again, like a Kai balls, it can just be kicked away. If this is Vegeta's strongest attack, I don't understand why it struggled so hard against Well that was his like <clears throat> his biggest Hakai ball. Like that was his yeah, that was the full strongest power, destruction. Just him at him. I'm incredibly key. surprised that Vegeta didn't get kicked out along with Topo because they were mm. making it look like they were very evenly matched and then Topo got that mad power boost. Mm. It looked like Vegeta only got a simple power boost. 
But then Vegeta kicked the shit out of Toppo. Yeah. And wiped the absolute fucking floor with him. And like, that's what I don't understand. Like, why, if he was, like, beating him so easily, why did he need to use Final Explosion? Yeah. He could have just, like, punched him off the stage with just using his strength alone. He didn't need to, like, waste all of his energy. Yeah. Like, that's what I don't get about. No, but, but where's the, where's the fun in that? He, if he does this, he can possibly get a Zenkai boost. Uh, <laughs> yeah, or die. You know, win, win, win less I really, situation. Th- I really hope he's the one that gets the wish. Mm. Well, speaking of dying, everyone thinks Vegeta is dead, but then he pops up. He's like, "I am not dead." He's just shirtless. <laughs> My shirt is dead. But I am not. <laughs> Which is probably the first time we've seen Vegeta in a fight shirtless. Mm. We've seen like half of it ripped away. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that's the most. But whereas, like, this is him fully shirtless. Like, I don't. Like, in Z, he's always, like, the only time we see him shirtless is when he's training, or, like, when he's gotten out of the shower or something. Yeah. Like, in a fight. Like, and, like, I was watching a video, and they pointed out, it was weird to see Vegeta's actual fist punching someone. Yeah. Because it's usually in a glove. Yeah. Um, so it's just weird to see Vegeta half-naked in a Mm. fight, Mm. as opposed to Goku. Yeah. Yeah. Because everyone's used to seeing Goku. We've seen Goku straight up naked. We saw Goku (laughs) naked in the first episode of Dragon Ball. Yeah. (laughs) Like the freezer and Goku fight, he was shirtless the entire time. Yeah. No, not the entire time. You know what I mean? Every time it was Super Saiyan, which was the thing, and everyone kind of walked. Yeah, that's true. Right. So everyone was used to seeing that. Oh, yeah, when it was Super Saiyan, yeah. We've either uh, seen him dead in a snake in a fever dream, or fully clothed. Hmm. Yeah, that's Wait, true. is it weird? Like, you said it's weird to see Vegeta's fist without a glove on it. The entire boost saga, didn't he not have gloves? No, he, no, had, he had gloves. gloves. Yeah, he, it was his Saiyan armor. Gloves. Like, it was his Saiyan underskin, basically. With, without the sleeves. Yeah, yeah. Without the actual armor. And, yeah, sleeves. Yeah, without the sleeves. Yeah. I thought, yeah, he didn't have the gloves on, but now that I'm picturing it, it does have the white gloves. I think it was purely just to help them, like, easily illustrate Vegito. Because, yeah, like, yeah. if they had the Saiyan armor from the start, they would have had to incorporate it. But if he had that then they could have done like the the blue over the yeah uh, yeah the, the blue over the orange um and now that it's been established when he did fuse back with goku in the goku black saga it was established that that's what vegeto looks like so yeah probably helped that way but yeah, yeah. so and then yeah. um in the episode so everyone's like oh he's not dead he's not dead and then everyone starts talking he's like he's not dead because he's stronger now he used the same attack that he's drawn against. Mm. Which is kind of like, no shit. But Beerus like, does he's say using, he's out of energy. the same attack, putting out just as much key because Piccolo mm. is going on about how he's recognizes and he's felt this before. Yeah. So he's yeah. putting out just as much key, but he is fucking League stronger than Super Saiyan 2 now. Yeah. yeah. I think that's why, um... Like... I think that's why 17 will be fighting June next episode mm-hmm. as well. It's because they're both yeah. fucked. <laughs> yeah, they well, need to gain their energy back. Yeah, yeah so he's gonna be the. He'll do it, and then he'll get knocked out. He'll stall him. Yeah. Would you go go cool? Like, Clear back. After Fusion. One minute. No, wish, but what I don't understand at the moment is why Seventeen isn't kind of playing a healer. Like, you know, he's got unlimited energy. It's a proven thing in Dragon Ball that you can share energy. Why isn't he just sitting there like Freezer with the trap thing? Just constantly putting out energy for them to absorb. Can that? Can he do that? Because that would enjoy? that would thing, make yeah. him a mad target. He we, has done that for the spirit bomb. But the Genki don't, uh, Genki's energy is different to Ki. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I don't know. He'll do something. He could do something. I mean, they could write it in. They'd fucking do anything. <laughs> <laughs> that's why, like, that, I think that's why they got rid of um, Majin Buu. Yeah. Because Majin Buu is a straight up healer. Like, he's healed the dog and everything. Yeah. And, like, that's probably why they got rid of him, so that he's just not healing everyone all the time. Yeah, that's fair. So Frieza can be in there instead and go, Yeah! Monkeys. Talking about how much stronger Vegeta's gotten. Seventeen just pops out from behind a rock, conveniently right after Toppo's been knocked off. <laughs> yeah, he's hiding, man. I would. <laughs> yeah, <me too. laughs> Have you seen Topper? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man, you got knocked off. Ah, oh, what a shame. <laughs> I was ready to punch shit out of you. You're fucked. It's like, it's like that big fisted scary fucks. 
I think the next couple of episodes are going to be Big Scary Jiren Time. And yeah. it's going to be about Jiren knocking off a bunch of people. And then it'll be like one or two people left because they've already got they've got too many people in Universe Seven left. So when yeah. does Freezer get Golden Freezer too? <laughs> I don't think he's he gonna just get gets shinier. Yeah. In well, Dragon Ball Super yeah, Two. Yeah. <laughs> shinier gold. Well, true Golden Freezer is kind of that already. So. You mean true Golden Freezer? Remember how he's like learned to master Golden? Ah oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose. Oh, right, yeah. Mind training. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> but now he's like um, still weaker than Vegeta because Vegeta's just like smashed away the Vegeta's Akai like, energy. He was like, ah, fuck! <laughs> yeah. One thing I do like about it is now Jiren's starting to talk because he's the only person left. Yeah. I was very surprised yeah. about his um, attitude towards Dispo and Toppo. He was like, I, I, what was it? You're pathetic. You're pathetic. Yeah. Yeah, I expected more. Yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> like, how could you say that? The fucking wall. Man, that was a good time. Yeah, yeah. Just that one kick. He just like turns like You're usually pathetic, and he's like, dude, what the fuck, and gets kicked across the fucking. I, th I think it's funny because usually when someone says something like that in Dragon Ball, the person who's like, "How could you say that?" powers up and beats the shit out of whoever's yeah. talking. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just like, "How could you say that?" Fuck off, Goku. <laughs> <laughs> I do what I want. I knocked the fucking Super Saiyan Blue out of him. <laughs> <laughs> and then he can proceed to congratulate Vegeta. He's like, "Oh, you fucking shit top over yeah. Vegeta. You're good. Well done." <laughs> well, well, it's done. still it's still a feat. That's what he means. He's like, "Oh, look, you guys should have fucking lasted longer because you're strong as fuck." But you know, they knocked you off, so they're stronger than you. So good job. Yeah. So even though yeah. Jiren's leagues ahead of them. Yeah. Jiren's gonna be very scary in the next couple of episodes, I reckon, because yeah. they're setting him up to be quite dark. He's because he, he smiled. Yeah. yeah, that was <laughs> terrifying. Yeah. Also, also with um Jiren saying like, "Congratulations, Vegeta, you managed to do this without um throwing away." That kind of yeah. You know he he doesn't have anything he's fighting for because he's thrown away everything to get that strong. Yeah. Um, he's like, Oh, you did it without throwing shit away? Fuck. Good on ya. Mm. Oh, I wish I could have done that. Like, you know, to me, that's what it kind of came across like. It makes me wonder, though, like, could these guys eventually just throw everything away and then just be on the same level as Jiren? Maybe. Like, maybe Jiren, like, I've heard this theory before, he's, like, reached enlightenment where... Like maybe a different kind of enlightenment. He's where you woke. Don't care about anything anymore? I he's, don't he's think. Woke. I don't think Goku and like Vegeta Jim could ever be at a point where they're not where they don't care. Because the whole point of Vegeta so far is his character development has been like, ah, I care more. I care now. But and Goku's just like, mm. I want to fight people, but he cares about that. He wouldn't yeah. be able to just throw that away. And Vegeta's too into his pride. Mm. Yeah. And neither of them would ever like let their families die. Because you remember fucking Goku when Black was like, I killed Goten and Chi Chi. And he was like, Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Destroyed the. So guy. if anything like that, if they had to give up anything, they wouldn't. No. The 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 whole point of this will be that they can do it without yeah. losing their morals because that's what it's been about the entire time. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And that's bad. Yeah, it is bad. Yeah. But um, the narrator said that Jiren has unleashed his hidden power. Not necessarily true power or final power, but just hidden. He hated a bit. And that there's four minutes left. Um, but yeah. So that, is that four episodes? Probably. Probably four episodes. I reckon they're either going to try to extend it or like wrap it all up. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, they've got, they've got four people to knock out. Yeah. One per episode. Mm-hmm. Including Goku, I don't think Goku's gonna win. Alright. Yeah. No, um, surely can't. Yeah. No. Um, next episode. Dun, dun. Yeah. I know, but I just like the sound. <laughs> <laughs> and he's back! Hey! Um, so, so, we're up to the next episode where everyone but Frieza versus Jiren. Frieza's hiding like a little bitch. He's probably taking a nap. Like, oh, this is just too uh, much. We basically just talked about how... The narrator. Jiren smiled. The narrator said he unleashed his hidden power. Um, so basically, even though Jiren's been completely fucking everybody, he's still going yeah, he's further. He's still got a hidden power to go. And what... Yeah. Complete bullshit. What yeah. Kino said, like... Like, what, what, what did you say? 
I said, oh. I said it's his hidden power, not his true power, yeah. not his final he's power. He's going to have more things to come, and it's yeah. just going to get fucking ridiculous. Is this... I swear to God, if there's a fucking other thing, like a fucking Xen Z uh, Xeno button. What if he grows hair? What if <laughs> Jiren transforms? What if Jiren is actually just a real beefed up version of the old Saiyans from way back? Oh, the fucking double counts. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. What? It's just Monaco in a mech suit. <laughs> <laughs> he's literally just Monaco. Where are those big nipples? He's what if he was created things. by Xeno just to make things interesting for Goku? Miss them no, little titties. So. it would be pretty interesting, yeah. bud. Something right. Xeno would do. Yeah. Alright, yeah. you want to wrap us up, buddy? Yeah. Um, so, are we done the next episode? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, alright. So, if you've enjoyed this podcast and all of its little hiccups, hit the like button. <laughs> if you didn't like it, um, you know, double tap it. Because, you know, just really describe how much you don't like us. Uh, leave a comment below if um, you've got any suggestions for other things we can do now that Super is dying. Um, or if you have any technical you can advice. Email us at amalgamshow at gmail.com. Amalgam's house. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the bell, and uh, now I'll let Kina finish the sentence. Uh, uh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bye. Nah, don't worry about it. It's bye. fine. Uh, bye. Bye.